Stop in the name of this guy. Hey, what's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Generation Toy Sarge. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have some nice artwork of Sarge. On the bottom, you just have the rest of the picture on the top. Generation Toy on the back of the box. Warning, please don't eat anything in this box. That could be very bad for you. And when we remove the slip cover here, you just have Generation Toy with Sarge's mug right there on the front. Generation Toy on the back, and that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Sarge, and this is the first component of Generation Toys Guardian, their Defensor, and this is their take on Streetwise, and um, very nicely done figure, you know, I, I have to say, I've been thoroughly impressed with what uh, Generation Toy has been putting out recently, like, I've been loving the figures that they've been putting out, um, just nicely done, just actually enjoyable toys to mess with like i'm really digging what they're doing and um yeah this figure is definitely no different uh very nicely done as you can see he is a police car and let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details we got some nice red up front you got the transparent plastic with the silver behind it for the headlights you got the tinted transparent plastic there for the windshields and the windows all oh, the side view mirrors are rubber, so you don't have to worry about breaking those off, which is always a nice. You got police on the side, Guardian, Sarge, and you got the uh, light bar done in that transparent red and blue plastic. You got some nice gunmetal gray trimming the, uh, the police car itself, which looks quite nice. Silver for the rims, red for the taillights. And you got some more red back there, some more of that gunmetal gray. Got the uh, triple tailpipes because the third tailpipe is uh, the gun. You can see it just stores via that tab right there, and there's just a groove right in there. And that just plugs in, holds on very securely. So you got your weapon storage, which is quite nice. And you got that going on, and it rolls as rolling things should. Hooray for rolling. Rolls nice and smoothly. Uh, the tires are rubber as well. Another thing to mention. So. Yeah, got that going on. And for comparison, here he is with Combiner Wars Streetwise. Here he is with TFC Toys Streetwise. Mine is Repro Label. Here he is with the Yes Model knockoff of the uh, Make Toys Streetwise. And just because, here he is with Masterpiece Prowl. So you can see how he scales that. So yeah, that is basically it for the uh, vehicle mode. It's a it's a police car. Not much to talk about. It's a car. It goes vroom vroom. It's it's a car. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. Now, the instructions don't say anything about combined mode. There actually are no combined mode instructions. Um, but I did look up pictures online, and it seems like the combined mode for Sarge here is pretty much just uh, compressing all this up as if you're going into robot mode. So to do that, you just untie these front sections here. They're on double hinge, and you just shift them in like that. Then these sections of the hood just pop up and shift in like so and then this whole assembly here just comes up that's on double hinge as well and you bring that up and from what i saw in the pictures apparently that's that's the combined mode right there so there you go yay hooray for combined mode that that, that seems to be it anyway i don't know <laughs> but yeah there you go so that's pretty much it for that. That's that's just a little fender bender right there. You can buff that right out. Anyway, so let's move on to robot mode. So we'll come back here. Uh, actually, we'll remove the gun first. Just get that out of the way. Put that off to the side. So now we will come back here. You want to take these panels here and just bring them out so you can then untab this whole rear bumper section. You can see it just tabs in right there. And you can just bring that up and get that out of the way and that will then allow you to take these rear sections right here and just slide them back like so and just slide that back like so it will there's a little little click point there 
So make sure you bring it all the way back so it clicks and get that out of the way. And then the next thing you want to do is come to these sections right here. You want to untab it from the side right there and then this will just pull out like that. Once you do that, just rotate it down, get that out of the way. And same thing on your side, just untab that and just pull that out. Bring that down, get that out of the way. And once you've done that, we will now take the doors and the doors will also untab from the sides right there. And also the, uh, the window here. So tiny little tab just goes in right there. And you just take this whole assembly and just bring it down like so. Untab. And make sure that comes untabbed. And just bring that all down like so. And we have this going on. So at this point now, we can untab the hood. You can see this tabs it right up in there. Just gonna get that up. And then we just untab this section right here. The this entire assembly right here just tabs in right up front. So just untab that and just bring that up. So you have the clearance to now take the legs and extend them down like so. And at this point now we can split the legs and we can get working on the legs. Actually, before we get started working on the legs, let's untab these sections right here and just fold these up. You can see the, the molded detail here that they even painted in as well. It's pretty nice. So you just take these and untab, fold them up, and we will now continue on with the legs. So what you're going to do here is you're going to take the section here and just rotate it around like that. As far as these sections go, uh, this section is on a double hinge, so you want to get out of the way. This section is on a double hinge, so you just want to bring that down as far as it will go, which isn't too far. This section here is on a double hinge, so you want to collapse that up like that. And then you have a tab that will go in right there. And you just line all that up, and that will tab in like so, right there. So for the foot, you just bring it out, and you want to bring it back at this hinge right here. Bring it back. And that'll just click into place right there, like that. And then you just bring this door panel up. The window just slides up. Bring that in. Bring that over. And that will just tab in right back there. Like so. Let's get all that lined up. That will tab in like that. There you have a leg all done. Second verse. You know what it's like. You know exactly what it's like. Just like the first. Okay. So <laughs> just collapse all this down. Oops, clap, 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 so it's down. Here we go. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you for working with me. Here we go. Nope. No, wait. Just not one. Come on. Work with me. Work with me a little bit. Just a little bit. Hey, baby. Just a little bit. Hey, baby. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Sorry. Okay. There we go. <laughs> I just got a little stuck there. All right. Anyway. Give me a second to sing. Anyway, uh, so bring the foot down, bring that back, bring that up, slide that up, bring it in, tap that in, boop, and there you got the legs all done. So now we will move on to the upper body, and you can see all the silver that's going on there. And this little bit, this bit is weird. I don't know what this is for. I guess it's for combined mode, it's a little spring-loaded thing here. I don't know. It's just weird. I guess it's for the combined mode because it serves no purpose anywhere else. Um, but anyway, you want to take the arms and they will slide out like so. And they go collapsed in like that. So slide them out. And then you're just going to bring them up like that. Slide that out. Bring that up like so. This panel here, you just want to bring that up. You want to rotate it. You do have to push this in so you have clearance. And just bring that around. So what's going to happen here is you have these little tabs that are going to go right in here. And then you have these tabs that are going to plug in right in there. So you just make sure you have all of that lined up like so. And these will just drop right into place and tab in. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful thing how smoothly that works. 
So now let's turn him around and we'll just start working on this stuff back here. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna rotate this upper section of the body. Oh, one thing I always forget to do, are these little panels here that you wanna flip around and they will help fill in those gaps there on the side. I always forget to do this. Thank God I remembered. <laughs> there you go. So you flip those around. So now we want to take this upper section of the body here. We want to rotate that around like so. You're going to take this assembly here, rotate that around. This section here with the light bar flips in. And then you bring this up and this will tab in on either side right there. And usually that spring loaded bit will kind of get in the way, but it's fine. Still holds in place nice and secure like, and now you rotate him 180 out of the way, so now everything is oriented properly. So you got that, and for the backpack, you just turn it around like so, and you got these two tabs, we'll plug in to those slots right there in the small of his back, so you just bring it up on that double hinge there, and that just tabs in like so. Nice and secure like, oops. You stay there. You stay there. You stay there, mister. Thank you. Thank you. So that just tabs in like that. And now we will work on the arms. So you just bring the arms down. They extend at the bicep and they also extend at the form like so. And once you do that, you just take this panel here, bring that around and you can see there's a tab and a slot right in there and that will just lock that slider in place. And there you have an arm all done. Second verse, as you can guess, just like the first. Just extend at the bicep, extend at the boop, forearm, rotate, bring that in like so. And the last thing to do is just turn his head around. And there you have Sarge, a.k.a. Streetwise, in his robot mode. And he looks really good. He's a really good looking Streetwise, in my opinion. Um, my only real complaint is maybe he could have used a little bit more red up top here just to break up the white because there's a lot of white up here there's not too much other color breaking it up i mean there's some right here on the inner part of the forearms here um a little bit of red here on the sides but maybe a little bit more red like right here in this molded detail and maybe some red like you know on his forehead um you know again just to kind of break up the the white because a little too much white going on up here but otherwise um really really Nicely done robot mode, in my opinion. So that's getting close here, not on his chest. On that noggin, there's that noggin. You can see some nice silver paint there. Blue for the eyes. It's quite, quite nice. Again, you got the big windshield chest. Again, you got some red down the sides. Silver for the biceps, silver on the forearms. Got some of that gunmetal gray in there. Some red on the inner forearms. Got some of that gunmetal gray here on his hands as well. A lot of nice silver with some red and that gunmetal gray. And the legs are pretty much the card bits that we've already seen. You got some detail in here, which is also picked out in paint. His red feet. On the back, it's a pretty clean transformation. You know, he has the hood on his back, but it all collapses up pretty well. And I actually do like how this sticks up behind his head. I don't know, I think that looks pretty cool. No, I like it. <laughs> but, yeah. All around. Really, really nicely done, in my opinion. Now, articulation-wise, he had uh, can rotate, can do a full 360, can look up, can look down. Arms can do a full 360, can go in and out. You do have bicep rotation. Uh, you do have a double-jointed elbow, which gives you... Only slightly over 90 degrees of bend. You do have wrist rotation as well as this inward joint here. The hands can open and close. The index finger is a separate piece and these three fingers are just molded together. Uh, you do have waist rotation. Legs can go forward, that far, back, that far, outward, that far. Yet. Thigh rotation, you do have a double jointed knee, and I like how that works right there. So you get a nice range of movement there at the knee. And the feet 
can eh, move up slightly, can move down a bit more, and you get full levels of ankle tiltage there. So you got that going on. Let me get you all situated here again. And of course you can give him his gun. Just bring down the handle and it's the usual tab in the slot in the palm method. And just tabs right in and he does hold that nice and securely. There you go. So I can pew pew bang bang pew pew bang bang. All that good stuff. Oops, sometimes the backpack comes undone if you <laughs> if you press it's just kind of the, the, the law of leverage where you just kind of push on the top and it'll pop it out from the bottom. But it actually does hold on pretty securely. It's just you know you push on that enough, it's gonna pop off. Just the way it works, man. Just the way it works. But uh, yeah, how all that and now full camp Harrison. Here he is with TFC Toys Streetwise. Here he is with Combiner Wars, Streetwise. Here he is with the Yes Model knockoff Make Toys, Streetwise. Here he is with Masterpiece Pro. Here he is with MP10. Just so you can see how he scales there with the big boss bots. And here he is with Generation Toys, Optimus Prime. So you can see how they scale together. So there you go. So there you have Generation Toys, Sarge. Um, as I said at the top of the video, you know, I have been very much impressed with what uh, Generation Toys has been putting out recently. Um, I I've been really enjoying their figures. And, and this figure is no different in my opinion. Um, just overall, just a solid figure. Um, the transformation is nice and smooth and fluid. It works. The figure is genuinely enjoyable to mess with, which is where I think Generation Toy is kind of a step above most of the third party companies nowadays. My only real nitpick with the figure is, as I said, I just wish there was maybe a little bit more red up top here just to break up all the white, maybe a little bit more red on the shoulders, like on the front of the shoulders, maybe on the head crest there, just to break up that white. Um, but overall, though, um, very much enjoy this figure. I think it's very well done. Like I said, it's just, it's nice. It, you know, it works smoothly. It works fluidly. Um, overall enjoyable, just a nice, solid figure. Very good quality, I dig it, and I'm looking forward to picking up the rest of the set and uh, seeing how the combined mode turns out. So, there you go. So, if you would like this or any of Generation Toys' other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description uh, down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out the Guardian playlist for all future reviews on this set, also linked in the description uh, down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Generation Toy Sarge, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, palm in your face! <laughs> Are you username ladies man 217? Huh? Are you username ladies man 217? Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry about that. Sorry. <laughs> My partner here is, uh, he's a little what you would call unstable. Sorry about that. Oh, oh, I see you're doing the whole, the whole good cop, bad cop routine. Okay, so I, I guess you're the good cop. Nah, he's the good cop. I will murder you if you don't tell me what I want to know.